now what I'll do is I'll go into the go to my doc in my projects. And you can see on the left hand side that we have a list of project names. And these are the four projects that I have in my database so far. And I can double click on any one of them and it will open up their documents. On the right hand side, there's a new project, the ability to put in a new project. And here we'll go, and I don't know if you guys all have the some of the documents, but if you take some the the drawing, uh, simple sketch drawing that I did for Dan White Residence, Frogstone, and it, it indicates page one of page two. And it will have your um, a small, simple drawing across the page. There's top of wall details and the bottom of wall. There's distances between the different elevations, and these elevations uh, can be the top of wall or the bottom wall elevation, but it's each one of those is considered a panel. And we'll, we'll go through that process. And also a, a matching document is what I actually did in the wall estimate. It's called the wall estimate, and it's front view, Dan White, wall number one. And that's what this wall will look like once we have gone through the calculator. And we'll, we'll, we'll simulate this again. And um, what I'll do is go through it step by step. But before we do that, we have a date. Go back to the screen, and we have a project type. If we open up the library of project type, it, and there's one item in the library. If we would now ch print in commercial or or, a res, or, or whatever kind of other project types we want to save, then that would add to that library. But we'll just use residential. We'll enter the name of the customer. And I will use um, uh, Tom White just to make it different than what it was before. The address information would go in. So we could just do a simple hat street, and we tab down, and we put the city of Atlanta, and we go down, and we just choose Georgia, the abbreviation, and we could, um, and so on. We would put all the information that would be necessary. We put their contact information, their email, their phone numbers, and we can also add some notes to this project as well. We can then choose which product we want to do. And in Florida, you have Cornerstone 100, and you also have Frogstone. And I will open up Frogstone as the selected product that we're going to use for this estimate. And you can see we have a bit of a detail on what the corners look like, what the cap sizes are, and, and um, the information on that detail. Now once I have chosen this, I'm going to save this project, and I'll click on Save, and it will open up to that kind of a document. Um, I can either double-click on Tom White, or go down to View and Add Wall Projects. And I'll just add the vault wall project. Oh, one thing before I – I'll go back to Project List. There's one area that what we can do also is we can link files to this project. And the type of things that you would link to these projects would be maybe you have a site drawing that you have scanned. You can save that scanned drawing and save it to this project so that it would be a list of pro items in there. We can also save photos, before and after photos, or any other documents that might be particular to Tom White on Hat Street in Atlanta. We can save them to this project. So that's kind of a neat detail so that we can just keep files properly done. So we will go back to View and Add Walls. <clears throat> 